morning guys and I would normally say happy Tuesday but it's really not a happy Tuesday um, today is the first day that I'm changing up my routine and trying to build that lifestyle that I so desperately want but can't have at the moment I'll explain more later but yeah it is 7 15 I am driving to my parents' house right now to do work and then we're gonna head to the gym, the normal vlog stuff, but um, yeah, we'll chat a little bit later about what's going on because it's a lot and I've really been struggling. It's not a lot, I guess, but like, I don't know. I guess I'm just a very picky person of how I want my life to be and how I want things. It's hard to explain without actually saying it, but yeah. Um, feeling very confused, lost, alone, sad <laughs> lately, like this whole week. So um, thought I would make a vlog and talk about it. I don't know, maybe if anyone else is in the same situation, you can kind of relate. Like I'm 25 and thought I had my life together, thought I knew exactly what I wanted and everything changed. Everything literally changed, so it's just crazy. It's crazy to think about how different my life is now compared to a year ago. A year ago, I was like at the beach in LA and now I'm here back in my hometown, like driving to my parents' house to do some work. <laughs> packed a bag, packed all of my food, packed my ice roller, which I'm doing in the car because it feels so good. But anyways, good morning guys and welcome to this vlog. got to the gym I'm gonna head inside and do a arm workout and then I've been trying to do the what is it like the stair master is that what it's called the machine where you like are walking on stairs forever <laughs> um, I'm trying to do that instead of the treadmill for 15 minutes because I've seen so many TikToks of people like raving about the step what's the, what is it called the step machine so gonna do that gonna get an arm workout in and then hopefully be in a better mood <laughs> to wear I can explain the situation because I don't know I guess it's just it's really just not my week and there was like construction on the way here so it's taking forever and people are just pissing me off on the road I have like road rage sometimes you guys but let's go work out workout is complete and I kind of still feel the same because I was just thinking the whole time in the gym what I was gonna say and how I was gonna word this but basically we should start from the beginning um, if you are new here so my name is Stephanie I was born here where I'm at now in Central Oregon and lived here for the first 22 years of my life I have lived here and my whole dream my life dream was to move to LA and get a job in film and production which was like what I did like it was my dream to do that as soon as I graduated college I moved to LA and originally moved there with my boyfriend who I met in LA we moved in together it didn't end up working because we could only afford a studio apartment and it was just like getting too much we were fighting all the time we broke up so I moved out moved downtown for a year really found myself there and I had a blast like I absolutely loved LA and then here's where it all went downhill I don't know if I want to say that 
particularly because everything does happen for a reason i believe that but it's hard to remember that when things just don't feel right and your life doesn't feel together but anyways basically i was living downtown by myself for the first time and i absolutely loved it and then I had to move to a new place. I very frantically moved into this apartment that I didn't do a lot of research on and ended up hating it. So within like two days of living there, I was able to get out of my lease. And then I moved back here to Oregon until I was able to raise up enough money to get a new place in LA. And while I was staying here in Oregon, I reconnected with this guy who I always had a crush on since high school. Like we were always hanging out. Like we did date in high school and I was just like obsessed with this guy. So me and him started talking again. We, it was one of those situations where we both didn't want to catch feelings and then we both got feelings. But then during all of that, I found a new apartment, moved in and then realized how much different the life was compared to Oregon, like in LA that I was just like alone in LA. And then after spending so much time in Oregon with time, and my friends like I realized like that's what was making me happy at the moment and so I would go one month in LA one month in Oregon one month in LA one month in Oregon until I just finally decided to drive up to Oregon with my car so that I could stay as long as I wanted and then I was originally gonna go back to LA for a few weeks in the summer enjoy summer but obviously I never did that as the days go on and I'm going to LA this weekend to get the rest of my stuff get a U-Haul drive up all up here I'm like freaking out because like everything had changed so quickly. I thought I knew exactly what I wanted. Like I always told myself that I was going to stay in LA. I was going to raise a family there because I never was able to grow up there as a kid. And that was like what I always wanted. So I was like, I can't wait to just like create a family here and give them the life that I like never had. But since I did get out of that first lease, I can't really get out of this one because it's really bad to show like your next house or your next apartment that like you got out of a lease and like even worse two leases so like i've been trying to stick it out it is currently like august so my lease ends in three more months in november and in the meantime i've been like staying here staying with ty and his roommates but it's just been so extremely different and difficult for me because i'm so used to like my peace and being alone and like having me time and i haven't had that since I've been here like I've been constantly surrounded by people like no personal space no like quiet space to do my work I do work from home so like having a home is so extremely important to me and that is something that I like have not had since I came back here and I in May I'm pretty sure so so like three or four months I've been living with Ty living with roommates and it's been fine like they're great and I love them but then now our roommates dad and sister are moving in downstairs and it's really not that big of a place in the first place they brought another cat like th there's like gonna be six of us there's gonna be three dogs two cats in like a two-bedroom townhouse and like i'm not trying to complain you guys i hate vlogs where i'm just complaining and in a bad mood but like i truly have like i feel myself getting depressed and which makes me so sad because i'm usually such a happy person but like if you don't know anything about central oregon it is a very very small town like i never liked it here growing up like i always hated it here and to like think about closing the la chapter and like coming back here freaks me out like I, I definitely, I'm just, I feel so lost, so confused. I like had a whole mental breakdown yesterday. I was like, I cannot stay here anymore. Like I am so anxious. I'm like having panic attacks in my sleep. Like it is just so bad because like I just need to feel like I have a home and I have my space and I like worked so hard for so long to build that to where I can be able to like have my own place like have my own space and have all my things and now I'd, I haven't had that in a really long time where I feel like I'm home and like I can breathe and I can rest like I'm so scared for this weekend and for my future but then at the same time I try to think like I should be grateful you know if you're going through something and you feel lost and confused like maybe try to think of it as like you know something new and exciting is happening like a chapter maybe closing or something you know maybe ending but there's always going to be that like transition period to where like things could get really good and i could like you know be able to afford my own home and decorate and like be happy again but it's just like that transition period like the in between that's really hard so like all yesterday i was trying to figure out a new routine like 
how can I make my living situation better? Like, I can't stay here anymore with all these people. Like, I can barely work. So it, it's like, I think I'm just gonna like wake up, go to the gym, then go to my parents and work and eat dinner and like d basically do my whole day like at my parents' house. Like, thank God for them. Oh, I really didn't want to cry. Like, thank God for my parents' house. Like, I have that and I have them because like working there today was the first day in a really long time where I felt like I could actually like work and have a clear mind and I can just like breathe and like be myself. Oh, I'm sorry guys. <sighs> I really wasn't trying to make this like a cry sesh and a pity sesh. I was really just trying to like talk it through because I'm not going to therapy anymore. So I was actually really excited to just like speak my thoughts and like maybe it'll make me feel better or like maybe if you're going through something because I know like so many people feel the same way sometimes and they feel alone but you're not alone and it's hard for me to like take my own advice and feel like I'm not alone but sometimes I do <laughs> and sometimes I honestly just like want to be alone so it's weird and maybe like I was saying this morning like I'm just so stuck up in my own ways like needing to have a home and needing to have my space and my things. I'm really not trying to make it all material things because like Thai does make me happy. I have made friends here that like make me happy and I've had such a fun summer but like now that I'm about to pick up all my stuff and say goodbye to something I worked so hard for. It's scary. It's scary guys. <laughs> like I've also been thinking it really wouldn't be me if I wasn't doing something crazy every year. Like I feel like actually I know I have not stayed in one place for like longer than two years like every year I just like I guess I get bored or I get like tired of staying still so I like have to do something new or like move on to the next thing so like at the same time I'm like oh like what I was saying earlier think of it as like you know at least you're not just like staying still and being a robot like you're feeling emotions and you're going through life transitions which should be like exciting because you're gonna experience new things and like crow as a person every time I've been in like this situation I feel like I've been in a situation a lot where I feel lost or confused like every time I always turn out okay and I always grow so much as a person so you know if you are going through something like if you're going through a hard time just like no, we're gonna get through it. <laughs> you have to like experience the lows to like get to the highs. And I've been talking for so long, but that's basically it. I'm trying to make myself feel better <laughs> by talking with you guys, but also try to make it in a way that could be relatable and that I could like give you advice because like that's what I would want. I really could not tell you what's gonna happen in the next three months, like when my lease is over. Hopefully me and Ty can get our own place, like we've been saying we want to. If I have to go the next three months going back and forth and not having home, ugh, I mean that's okay. You know, because I feel like what I have, like with Ty, like I just feel so safe with him and comfortable, like we've known each other for eight years, so it's just like we both know that like we're in this together and we're in it for the long run. So I, I know I don't have to worry about him and like our future because we both want that. We'll just see how the next three months go. <laughs> and I'm so sorry for crying. Like I don't, I didn't want you guys to like feel sad for me. I just like, oh, it's been a really hard past couple of weeks, honestly, but like especially this week, just I feel like I just have so many emotions all the time and I'm like sad and then I'm angry and then like last night like me and Ty went on a little motorcycle ride and went to go eat with his friends and then I was happy and then I came back home and then I was sad so it's just gonna be a really rough three months you guys but we can get through it and we should be thankful <laughs> that we're not being boring with our lives like we're taking risks we're taking chances and although I may look like this right now I better not look like this in three months. But yeah, um, I'm going to stop crying to you guys on camera. I'm going to go inside and take a shower and see my puppy because I miss him. Hi. Hi, baby. I missed you so much. I missed you. morning guys it is 6 55 in the morning um we are doing it we are doing the new routine where we're going to the gym in the morning and actually 
I used to wake up at 6 a.m. every day and go to the gym in the morning and I loved it and then I stopped doing that like I started going to the gym after work but yeah I've always wanted to be that 6 a.m. girly so we're back into it hopefully I can keep this routine because like that's just you know that person that you like always want to be like you envision you're like oh I'll do this when I get this or I'll do this when I'm at that point in my life I'm always saying like oh I wish I could be that girl that drinks tea and reads books and goes to bed early and has a really good diet and then wakes up early to go to the gym and gets her day going and is always happy and has a good body <laughs> I just want to be healthy and happy and have my life together and I'm always like oh I'll do those things when I have a house or I can like really focus on my diet and my health like when I have all my things and my kitchen stuff and it's always like I, I can do this when this happens so I always try to tell myself like no <laughs> like no matter the circumstance you can always change you know like you can always become who you really want to be but anyways <laughs> super bright this morning if you can't tell but just wanted to say good morning feeling a lot lot better today i really think once i get back into like a routine truly eating healthy like truly working out in the mornings like i've always wanted to do i think once i'm just focusing on myself again then maybe i'll feel a little better but got a quest bar for a little <coughs> pre-workout i always like get these like little bar things for pre-workout and then i'm always like this does not hit the spot in the morning like at all in the mornings i'm usually like eggs and hash browns like salty or like a yogurt bowl anyways eating this heading to the gym gonna get an ab day in and let's have a good day together you guys <laughs> look at this lighting So the new routine only lasted about 24 hours, probably less than that. It was so naive of me to think that I could actually like make this work and um, be happy. But my parents' Wi-Fi is like, I already knew this, but it was just so slow. And it's literally the worst Wi-Fi I've ever been on. And working from home, like I need really good Wi-Fi. It was the next day, by the way. So yesterday, um, <laughs> started the day off strong with a workout and then went to my parents house made breakfast and everything but i wasn't able to work for like over an hour all the downloads kept failing and i couldn't do anything so yesterday i drove back here around like 9 30 just so that i can like do some work and yeah it is thursday i leave tomorrow to go get my stuff and i was excited but now I'm just confused and lost and back to square one. Um, and with that, I just wanted to say I will probably be quitting social media for a little bit until I can figure out my life and have a stable living condition because for the past four months, I've been really, really trying to make it like be okay and for me to be okay and happy and get like I've been trying so hard um sorry to find a routine I'm crying because well I've been crying all week really um and I didn't really want to do this but I thought this would be the great like last vlog because I am going to be quitting social media and yeah there's just like the Oregon content's not doing good like 
everybody here kind of makes fun of me for what I do. So honestly, if I were to continue, all of the vlogs would just be of me crying. Um, and I want to be real and I want to explain as much as I can because I know some people actually do like watching my videos and following my Snapchat and my TikTok, but I just can't. I'm just not in a good headspace to continue on with what I really want to do and I can't live the life I really wanted to live for a while. So yeah, um, I don't know. I haven't even turned my phone on since yesterday. Like I've been having so much panic attacks and in my sleep I'll be short of breath and Ty has to wake me up every night because I'm just so anxious and I can't breathe. And I don't, I don't want people to feel bad for me, like, this is what I chose, um, and it's gonna be okay. But, yeah. Thank you guys for following along my journey. Um, I don't know when I'll feel comfortable enough again to, like, pick up the camera. But, like I said, just really not in a good headspace. And I can't do anything about it. I really can't, like, I just don't know what to do. Um, so hopefully next time I see you guys, things will be a lot better, but for now, this is goodbye, and yeah, thank you if you've made it this far. I really was hoping for everything to work out and for it to be, you know, getting my life together. I was so excited to be able to start making, like, better meals at home and feel comfortable, but this is the worst I have felt in a while. Anyways, um, enough of me crying on screen. Thanks following along you guys I'm sure you can understand why I'm doing this and hope you all are doing well and if you're in the same boat as me not even situation but just like sad we got this okay we'll make it out together bye guys